Okay, today guys, we're in the Nug Smasher, well, we're in the hot box inside the Nug Smasher factory and we're working with a little chunk of hash. Um, I'm not really sure how much it is. We're gonna shape it up, break it up, and, um, and uh, extract it into rosin so we have a full melt product that we can actually consume. But first, we wanna see how much it weighs. So, 14 and a half grams of hash. We're gonna kind of get a little shape and you know, uh, and today we're gonna do the hash extraction on the Nug, Nug Smasher XP. For those of you that um, have XPs out there and wondered how to do hash extractions, this is how we do it. So basically what I'm gonna do, once I get this in a nice little brick-like shape that I think it can fit inside these bags easily, um, then I'm going to wrap it in a uh, 25 micron screen like that. What I try to do is about three times a wrap. I need to cut off a little side of this guy about right here. All right. I'm gonna just stick this right in the middle of it. That's my, again, 25 micron screen. Hopefully it sticks to it. So I'm gonna do this 25 micron screen, wrap it around three times, make sure it's around that. And look, I got a little bit hanging off the edge. I'm gonna get rid of it, because I really don't need it, so I didn't trim it enough. Another thing you could do is see if you can unstick it and wrap this around a little bit, but you don't want that edge hanging off, it'll steal some yield from you. Fold it over twice. We're gonna stick it in a 37 micron bag. But first, we're gonna trim the bag to the size of the wrap. Slide it right inside there. That'll help hold everything together. And over that, today I'm gonna use a uh, 160 micron for the total hold of the shape. And the 160 is going to go all the way around the 37. It's just going to slide over everything. And my 37 peeled out just a little. Make sure I get it right. By getting it right, I just don't want anything sticking out the end there, bag wise. Okay, so now we got our hash bricked up pretty good. And it looks like we're gonna have about three inches by about 1.75. So at this point, we're using the Nug Smasher XP. We're gonna come over to the, the uh, pressure calculator of the Nug Smasher XP. And if you guys don't have the Nug Smasher app, now's the time to get it, it's free. Um, go to the App Store, the Google Store, load it on your phone or your, your device. Uh, it has TURP files on it, all kinds of great tools. It's a very robust app. It didn't used to be, but it is today. Our, our computer scientists have really done something amazing with it. So when you go to the Nug Smasher XP cal pressure calculator on the app, you can go through all this custom sizes and whatnot. And it relates the surface area size of your material to the actual gauge so you know exactly what how much pressure you're putting on the actual product. So um, my custom width is 1.75 and it was by three inches. And we know that uh, my max, max pressure, I like to do it by max pressure when I'm using the XP. My max pressure is 450. Okay, so the gauge at max will read uh, 1000 PSI. So to begin with, I wanna start out just by putting pressure on the product, letting the actual product um, get, get warm and, and neutralize in terms of temperature. And then I'll go up on the, maybe I'll put 100 on the gauge, barely. And then I'll go <clears throat> up on the temperature 
by 10 or 15 until I get to 175, increasing the pressure all the way up to 1,000 over the course of about six, seven minutes. So at this point, I know 1,000 on the gauge from the calculator is my max. I'm not gonna go over that. So I'm gonna go uh, back and I'm gonna use my, uh, my uh, timer, six minutes duration in it. I'm gonna put this over here for me. I'm bringing the plates, you notice I got it at 135 degrees. I'm gonna bring the plates a little closer together. I'm slide my puck in here. And I wanna make sure that's right in the middle, guys. And it's sealed, it's, it, it's come together nice. Once I get a little tiny pressure on it, I'm gonna put a put a magnet up on here on it. And then I'm gonna hit start over here. So basically I start a timer for six minutes, guys. Um, which you can do in the Nug Smasher app. And then once I start applying a little pressure on the gauge, as you can see, I just hold that pressure and maintain. And you can see how I was going up on the temperature. You don't want to reach uh, even half the, the max pressure uh, prior to reaching 155, 160 degrees. 155 is where it should start coming out real good. Most of your extraction. And you just got to wait for it. Wait for the temperature to catch up. Once that happens, we'll be able to apply a little bit more pressure. Right now, we're just holding the pressure. So we're about two minutes in, or a little less than two minutes in now, so we got four minutes left or so, so. So if you're just joining us, it's, it was a 14 and a half grams? 15 and a half, 14 and a half grams? Camera guy. 14 and a half grams of bubble hash that we had and we're turning it into rosin. So we uh, did a pressure calculator based on the size of what we put between the plates. And we know a thousand is where we're gonna max out at at the end of the six minutes, once we're probably all the way up to 170 degrees. Um, we've been raising the, maintaining the pressure and then raising the temperature. Uh, like I said, guys, it'll start to extract right at 155 or so. Um, it's really doing it now, I tell you. So you're having to keep up with the pressure because of all the displacement of material. So I'm about half pressure now. The reason you don't want to put a lot of pressure in the beginning is you'll blow your, your hash bag out and it'll be just a mess. And you'll, you'll lose a lot, of, uh, a lot of your hash. You can see once I get up past 155, um, I can put even start putting more pressure on it because I know that the, the product's temps all neutralized. And I'm not going to blow it out at this point. I'm just screening the last of it out. 800 uh, on the gauge, which is never uh, 450. Uh, a thousand on the gauge in this case is 450 material psi. So um, pounds of pressure on the actual material is 450 with a thousand on the gauge, the custom size that we put in. And you can see I'm all the way up to a thousand at this point. Looks like our extraction's pretty done, pretty much done. We have about 30 seconds left. And if you're just joining us, the time timer we set. Uh, once I got pressure on the material, we set for uh, six minutes. It's been ticking away and there's 23 seconds left on that six minutes. You can see, see I'm maintaining the 1,000 PSI now. Um, everything's flat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and stick it on the collection plate. Let's see what we got. Looks like we got something good, huh? Wow. Okay guys, there you have it. 
That's your hash extraction on the Nug Smasher XP. Beautiful material. Rosin looks gorgeous. Oh. See that? Torn parchment. All right, there you go, guys. So should we collect it up and, and give them a wait? If you want to, yeah. Sure. Camera guy says if you want to. This is what we use a collection plate for. This was really warm a second ago. Collection plate just cools it off and makes it real easy to peel it off the page. Look at that one. Okay. Get 10 grams of rosin out of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. That's how you turn a big hunk or a little hunk of hash into some golden, beautiful, solventless rosin. Do it with the Nug Smasher XP, hash extraction on the Nug Smasher XP. Um, that's why that gauge comes in handy, guys. It gives you a perfect result or an exact result every time. Uh, you can put different sizes in there and still apply the same surface area to your product. That's what Nug Smasher is all about. That's what we've been about since the beginning. That's why you get a consistent result out of our machines. So thank you so much. Tell a friend, like, subscribe. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and all the rest. Um, Twitter, right? Twitter? Camera guy, we're on Twitter, right? Yeah. Hey, we're on Twitter, guys. Come on. Look us up on Twitter. Talk soon. Be good.